For those who have not heard, there has been a massive update with Overwatch 2. And I wish I could tell you it's good news, but I cannot tell you it's good news. Let me read it to you. This is from the Activision Blizzard uh, shareholders call that just finished. Um, so this is coming out as in the last 15 minutes. As we worked with our new leadership in Blizzard and within the franchises themselves, particularly in key creative roles, it has become apparent that some of the Blizzard content planned for next year will benefit from more development time to reach its full potential. While we are still planning to develop to deliver a substantial amount of content from Blizzard next year, we are now planning for a later launch for Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 than originally fire. envisaged. Envis envisioned? Envisioned. I think it's envisioned, but it says envis whatever. I can't read. There are these are two of the most eagerly anticipated titles in the industry, and our teams are have made great strides towards completion in recent quarters. But we believe giving the team some extra time to complete production and continue growing their creative resources to support the titles after launch will ensure that the releases delight and engage their communities for many years into the future. These decisions will push out the financial uplift that we have expected to see next year. But we are confident that this is the right course of action for our people, our players, and our long-term success of the franchise. There's an article that goes along with this, but let me talk about what this means. The current quote-unquote idea, at least in my mind and get data that I've gathered, was to be that Overwatch 2 next year is going to was going to be played on Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch League was going to be played on Overwatch 2. Thank you. To my knowledge, from what I've seen from people tweeting and stuff like that, we I don't think that's going to change, but that also doesn't mean they're going to take a year off. I think that honestly, they're probably going to have a a special version that they're going to play on while the game is still being made. Um, that sounds kind of scuffed, but in a way, that's actually kind of better for the game because that would technically build hype for the game outside of just the Overwatch market. However, though, that's the only positive I can see. I'm trying to be on the positive side here. Because realistically, this hurts. For those who don't remember, Overwatch 2 was a release or was announced in November of 2019 <coughs> at BlizzCon. Thank you. We are currently in the sad, but I can't say we didn't see this coming based on the barren multiplayer content we have Hold seen. Up. Even the pro were in November of just looked like early of 2021. Testing. And we were at least predicting somewhere in between summer of 2022, maybe late 2022. That was the quote unquote prediction, at least by myself and many others. And this has pushed that even further beyond. Let me read this article first, and then I'll give you my full thoughts. Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 are being delayed. Activision Blizzard revealed amidst today's earnings report. Activision Blizzard announced a delay in a slide titled Update on Our Pipeline, saying that the while it still plans to deliver a substantial amount of content next year, it's planning for a later launch of Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 than originally envisioned. Update in the SEC filing. Activision Blizzard confirmed that it was anticipating a financial uplift from the release of Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 in 2002, but that is no longer the case after the delay. While Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 have never received an official release window, it appears the company was targeted targeting 2022, but now both titles are expected to be 2023 and beyond. Now, some people are saying this is an overreaction, but in my honest opinion, and my, my opinion from having a business background and taking what the importance of shareholder meetings is, I don't think that that's an overreaction. The reason for that being is that filing for a financial uplift is a major, major, major red flag. That means they're trying to tell them, hey, they're not going to be a massive boom this year. 
They have to be honest about that. They wouldn't say that. They would not say that they're not planning to have it unless there was a almost 0% chance of that happening. I want to say, like, I want to meme it and be like, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined, but I, I just sad. I'm honestly just sad. Uh, I believe there's more. They're two of the most eagerly anticipated titles in the industry, and our teams have been made great strides towards completion in recent quarters, Activision Blizzard said. We are, believe we are giving the teams extra time to complete production and continue growing their creative resources to support the titles after launch and will ensure that the releases delight and engage their communities for many years in the future. Blizzard previously announced Overwatch 2 development was progressing well, and the team had passed an important internal milestone. Diablo 4, meanwhile, recently changed its director after Louis uh, Barrega was reportedly fired in the midst of the ongoing harassment lawsuit. Okay. I said this in the opening. I'm going to say it again. I, as a creator, am very scared. And as a player as well. I stream every single day. Whether it's your first time being here or your first time seeing this. Every day around 12 EST. Somewhere between 12 and 2 EST. And let me, let me get through this. I'll, I'll do all that in a minute. I put out two put YouTube videos on two different YouTube channels. My main one flats and my second one flats too. Every single day. I invest a lot into this game. We have been in a content drought since April of 2020. And and the hope was going to be in 2020, early 2022. Originally it was 2021, but late early 2022, we were going to have our game. But I always kind of thought, and I kept this a little bit to myself. I think I might have mentioned it offhandedly in a video or two. You guys can tell me if I did or not. But I was very concerned that at Overwatch 2's announcement, we saw all this cool shit for play, for for PvE and stuff. We saw nothing about PvP, and then when we eventually saw PvP, it looked almost no different than current PvP, just like a more miserable single tank experience. Like it just kind of looked, it just looked weird. Like it didn't look like it was like a good game. And I that was when the community was like, "Why are we going to six five five? Let's stay with sixty six. My theory was that maybe hadn't hadn't made that many changes yet, and the theory was confirmed in my own mind when we saw the somber changes. We saw the somber changes. We saw the play test. It looked like they had made six months. You sound a bit over dramatic. Shut the fuck up. This is literally my livelihood and many other creators' livelihood. This is we literally got announced in 2019 that this is what was going to happen. 2023 you think that games go four fucking years <laughs> what's up seagull how are you buddy oh i don't i mean hey you're interested if you want later i'm probably gonna put together some creators and talk about some stuff um i hope you've been well seagull though seriously this is our fucking livelihood this is our fucking livelihood both as pr professional players content creators people that work that make content around this goddamn game it 2019 and, and a game doesn't come out until 2023? That doesn't happen in the industry. I don't care. I know COVID happened and, and it pushed a lot of people back, but games didn't stop all their content when COVID came out. What happened, in my mind, now, this is purely me speaking from the hearts, from prior just research knowledge, not anyone outside telling anything, is that on the outside, if you... LinkedIn LinkedIn searches and stuff like that, you saw that they were missing a lot of key positions at Blizzard. So my own theory was that they took the entire Overwatch 1 team to go work on Overwatch 2, but because they and they didn't have enough people to work on Overwatch 2, period, and they couldn't hire people. They couldn't find people to work. You know, like whether it was they didn't want like they they wouldn't fit the skill set or people just were leaving so fast because they didn't enjoy that place, you know? 
and obviously the 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 allegate the, the 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 court cases come out and we've learned about all this shit that was going on there and I honestly I can't, you can't blame anyone for not wanting to, to to work in that kind of an environment so the question becomes at that point was the poor Overwatch 1 team being forced into Overwatch 2 and that's why we got abandoned because they wouldn't hire more people or they couldn't hire more people but it but like I'm trying to get everything out at once because there's so many different pieces of this. Like, I'm, I don't even want to pick on one thing, but it's like, you know, you had all this great stuff that we saw at BlizzCon originally, but then, like, it just went dark, and then we saw a little more, and we got announced 5v5, then we saw the gameplay of 5v5, it didn't look any different, and then when we when we went from the gameplay that we saw at BlizzCon from 5v5 to the, the playtest we saw six months ago, it actually looked like six months of work had happened. But what happened to the two years in between 2021 and 2019? It looks like almost nothing happened. It looked like they just started working on the game in 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 in, in, in 2021 from, from a PvP point of view. I'm hoping to God this is this great PvE side that's already been made because I'm excited for the PvE. I think the PvE is going to be insane. Yeah, Siegel, I, I know you're a big proponer, uh, proprietor of, of PvE. I think PvE is going to be sick. I I want to do a a, 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 a a streamer race for the first, like, first people to beat PvE slash, like, having, like, mythic runs, you know? I, that sounds cool as shit. Well, you can't have all these dreams without nothing underneath it already. We're dying! We're fucking dying. Like, I I talked about, you know what? I'm going to do this really quick. Overwatch, Twitch. Chip. I'm going to show you a little chart chat really quick. I'm going to show you a little something. Welcome to Overwatch in the current year. <clears throat> Sorry about that. From January, let's see, concurrent viewers. January 2021, the game was averaging 18.8K viewers on average as a category. Overwatch is category. XQC is long gone at this point. You know what I mean? Like, you can tell where he left. Like, you can see the giant drop. This is just the Overwatch creators who stream the game. Look what has happened in, in 10 months. We went from 18.8K or arguably 20K all the way down to 10.6. The game has lost half of its viewership in 10 months. A, a half... It, if any game loses half of its viewership, and the reason you like you say like what about their player numbers? But this is reflects player numbers because if less people are watching the game, there's by an inverse effect less people playing the game. So we've been told these magic numbers. We don't have Steam numbers. We've been told these magic numbers that uh, there's a 10 million sign-ins. Well, taking that almost every high-level Overwatch player has about 15 alt accounts. Never mind every other player, how many they have. They just, people with casuals that just sign in once a month, play four games of quick play and don't touch the game again. You are you are playing with like a very weird number and those aren't concurrent. Those are just random people that sign in and leave like over time. This is data that I have that is tangible. 50% in 10 months? Look at the game over time. Yes, there was this massive drop when XQC left, right, in October of 2019, but then Overwatch 2 gets announced, and the game does okay. You know, this is when I start streaming right here. This is the, my first time I, when I became a streamer in March when I lost my job, and, and, and I decided to become to try streaming. The game does okay. It's doing great. It's doing okay. Because Echo got released, and it still had content. And then... We got left in the dust. That can't be accurate. A ninety-six point ninety-six percent drop in watch hours, watch in October. Well, October. Well, first off, a month that just finished, you got to be sometimes a little bit careful of the data because it needs to be updated. But Echo was supposed to come out at BlizzCon that year and got pushed too. 
Oh my god, I forgot about that. Echo was supposed to come out at BlizzCon. Oh my god, oh my god. I remember she got pushed. And that actually kind of kept us going. Like, like as weird as it was, it like, kind of kept us going. And, and, and if that's the philosophy that like, you can like tease some content or tease something and then like kick the can down the road a little bit and people will hang on and wait. I'm dumb. I'm fucking stupid. I'll, I'll, I'm a fucking little fish. I'll sit there and I'll just keep trying to bite the fucking the bait. I'll sit there. But at some point you get so tired that you can't even try to bite the bait anymore. You, the, like you don't have the energy to swim after it anymore. And that's what we're getting towards. <sighs> There's a part of this that scares the living shit out of me. We are still planning to deliver a substantial amount of content from Blizzard next year. What the fuck does that mean? Did, did you say this year had a substantial amount of content? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Where? Where is it? If they never announced an actual release date, why did they bother announcing this? Because they gave us a timetable. They said... No official release date, but they wanted to have it by 2022. And then that's early 2022. Then late 2022. Now it's no longer even 2022. <sighs> There's a lot of emotions kind of like going. Because the, you want to be objective and you want to, you, you know, uh, things have happened. You know what I mean? Like things happened at Blizzard. And, and, and obviously people were fired for good reason and people were pe new people came in and people were let go. So having a big rollover like that is, is probably tough to keep a, a production schedule. But it doesn't seem that that was the, totally the case. It seems like they were already super understaffed and not able to have people before that came out. So now that now they, they, they have like a skeleton crew, probably never mind Overwatch 1's skeleton crew. I... I, I I wouldn't be surprised if there's like five people at this point. You know what I mean? Because like you have someone to look at bands, someone who, you know, like make sure that the servers didn't die. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing else going into the game at this point. Never mind the game feels like fucking ass right now. Like, God, where do you guys remember Seagull's video last year? God, I want to go find it. I don't think. Okay. Let's go see. Well, first off. Hey, everybody. Where is it? This is the best. The best it's ever been. Overwatch, the best it's ever been. Seriously. October 17th, 2020. <laughs> Listen, dude, it's been like a year. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> October 17th, 2020. It was legit. It was so good. The game felt great. And then we just like, we were like, oh, like Arissa's not played that often, even though she was still okay. She was like, become back a bunker tank again. And we weren't playing bunker. We we're playing dive. We we're playing rush. We were playing um, brawl comps. We were playing like spread comps. But like, we weren't playing like these like very weird static shield breaky comps. And then we're like, oh, well, let's start buffing those again. Window, BAP window went to BAP garage. Um, Arissa all of a sudden was a, a menace again. Like, how? How how did we just go from what was the best state of the game and you left us with no content? We were like, okay, fine. We have no content. We'll fuck off. We'll just have fun with ourselves. And, you know, the game's not going to grow. It's not going to go anywhere, but that's fine. Like, we'll have fun. Did you, pretty, you guys, did you guys tune in my stream today? The, earlier? The, the, I actually said, the Hemong, I think these are some of the worst games I've ever actually played in months. I know it's end of season, but come on. Regardless, I'm getting off track at this point. The problem is, and maybe we'll get to hear, because honestly, Blizzard has hired some new people and had some new people come on. Um... And, and and to be honest with you, I've worked, I've started to work with some of them and, and, and they, they're great people, you know, like, uh, Andy's in here quite frequently, um, who's like one of their community managers and, and Jody, someone new and like, they're good people. And like, they're trying to like be more, you know, communicative and like, well, then we can be more communicative and it's great, but this is not, not 
like this is like beyond that. This is like this is this at such a fucking level that it's terrifying. What do we do? Like, what's our answer? I don't know. I don't believe that we can survive another year. The data doesn't lie. And for those who don't know, Activision Blizzard's stock just goddamn tanked another ten dollars since that's come out. <laughs> Single. If I did the same thing I did this year, at this point, we're at 10k right now. This would be five. Super has five almost by himself. What's super gonna be the whole category? <sighs> Speaking of super, there he is. I'm scared, chat. I'm scared. I, I am genuinely goddamn scared. I, I, I think Overwatch League will probably play on some kind of scuffed version of, of Overwatch 2. Might push, might push it back a little bit more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and it might have starting, like, in the summer. So they have a little bit extra time to work on it. And then they still play on it because they've already made the commitment. I'm just saying, there is no way in hell that, that those, those team owners are not furiously calling Blizzard at this point and be like, what the fuck? You know? I'd be surprised if next season... So I was, I would be surprised too, but I've seen some tweets. I've seen some tweets. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can find some. Where is he? Where is he? Okay. So I see something like this, right? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, Florida Mayhem, you know what I mean? So, like, he's, he's always been cool to me. Yeah, so, like, the, I, I, the, the way I would think of it is almost like they'd play, they'd be playing Overwatch 2 on, like, Almost like an early beta Overwatch when like Bastion still had a self shield and shit, and the game was just broken, and they'd be playing Overwatch League on something similar. Um, to clarify, I've got no problem with people debating the oh, being on an early access game the public doesn't have ans access to, or the logistics of pros practicing Overwatch Two. This is just directed at people that looked at one screenshot and assumed Owl was postponed or not on Overwatch One. So I read that and I immediately think like. They definitely have like a like a promise at this point. Like somebody committed and was like, "Hey, we will make sure you play on Overwatch 2. That doesn't mean it's gonna be good. I think that's the thing. Um, it's it's tough to say. I, I when I when I read that, I think that like they had to have made some type of decision. But team owners have some pull. I, they don't have as as much as I think people think. Like they used maybe like at one point, content. but maybe not anymore. Like obviously there's a lot of money invested and in like they're going to be upset. But at the same time, they're like, you know, Blizzard has always been like, no matter how much the league has wanted something, if the team didn't want to do it, it wasn't happening to my knowledge. Um, Unless like some outside higher power got involved and like really forced it. But that was rare. So. I don't know. Uh, at what point are people going to give up and they can't do this any longer? At what point do people give up and do, can't do this any longer? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you guys. I, I don't have an answer. I, like I said, uh, I, I put my heart and soul into the content that I make every day. I have two YouTube channels that upload daily. I stream every single day. Whether I'm having a bad day on Overwatch or not. Thank you. I hear Apex just came out with a new legend and map cap. Don't even get me motherfucking started. You know what? Fuck it. I'll put it out there. I got to test. I got to test Apex's stuff two or three weeks ago. I got to play test Apex, the new map, the new guns and stuff like that. They invited me. Me. Some Overwatch creator. They reached out and were like, "Oh hey, you want to do this?" I'm like sure. I'll take a couple hours of my day and do that. I, I don't know. I, 
it's I wish I I I I wish I had better answers. Oh, I I hate to be just the bearing of bad news. And normally I have some takes for you guys, and I have I have a way out, and I have some type of like tricks up my sleeve, and you know we're just gonna we're gonna hold W together. We're gonna be fine, but we were getting close to the edge. Like we were we were almost at the end of the tunnel. And then we found out that it wasn't actually a light at the end of the tunnel. We were all just fucking hallucinating. And and actually, it was a, a fucking lightning bug. And it was so dark for us that, like, the little lightning bug at the end, we couldn't... Yeah, SVB, honestly, you're not wrong. Like... <sighs> um, I don't even know. I honestly don't even know what to say at this point. I... I... And, and you know what this, the worst part of this is? Is like, I actually have a cool opportunity working with Blizzard right now. And you guys have seen my balance patch. And, you know, I can't say what it's for. And, and I know I know what it's for. But I've been trying to, like, throw you guys off on it on purpose. Um, But in my mind, I see, I, f I felt and heard all this stuff. And was just like, this is, like, holding us over. Because we're almost there. And it's holding us over. You know what I mean? And... <coughs> Are we gonna are we gonna say fuck it and start releasing hero again? Are we gonna start releasing heroes again and realize that like, hey, we're fucked if we don't do this? Or are we just gonna have we just shut the book? Is this is this statement the shut the fuck up statement? Is that what it is? I'm I, I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified. I'm terrified. I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I don't really know what to say. I I I I mean, I I've already seen, let me let me look at Twitter really quick. I've already seen a lot of people's like replies and stuff like that and I know a lot of people are talking about. Let's. Sam has a tweet or Sam's got a rant video. Let's see what Sam's rant video it is. Thank you. <laughs> you know, look, I recorded this like seven times, right? I've been sad. I've been happy. I'm currently keeping Thank calm. You. I don't know what to say. Here's what I do have to say, though. I've been saying that there's been serious problems at the leadership team at Blizzard for the Overwatch team for years, right? I've been crucified for having the opinions that I have. Crucified. Over and over and over again. Here's the only question that I'm going to pose to you today, okay? I'm on fire! How much is enough for serious, serious change to come about? Because here's the thing. Not only now do we know we're not getting Overwatch 2 on time, right? You have every other sector of the team killing it, right? The artists did a fucking great job with, the, with, with you know, the, the skins this year. They've done a great True. job for most years, right? You know, the PR team always does what they can. The Overwatch League team does a great job considering they are forced to take the scraps out of the bottom of the... Before I even go any further with that, Overwatch League actually killed it this year. Actually killed it. Brought that viewership out of the depths of hell and brought it to actually, like, improve. So big on them. ...barrel due to the negligence, the continuous negligence from the leadership team at Overwatch, Right? At what point does the community say, wait a minute, there are too many... The tournament format was so good. Dude, like, low-key, like, I hate to say it, but, like, the Boomers fucking, you know, home and away I format was just... It was so awful. It, it was just... Nobody cared. Like, nobody fucking... Gave, people cared about the first three or four games and then the last three or four games. Nothing in the middle. The tournament brought... That brought spice it brought it brought people up it there was always new things every game kind of mattered because whether it was the, the beginning of the tournament your points were accruing for the end of the year as well as the playoffs that was going on in the championship and any <sighs> red flags being waved so now but i want to bring this point up too Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 were both mentioned as being delayed but the circumstances for Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 are very different right Jesse McCree this this is gonna be big. Who was like one of the lead developers uh, over there? It was let go, obviously. I'm on and fire. Jeff Kaplan chose to leave. 
right? Diablo 4 was not expected to come out until 2022, 2023. Together, Sorry, we are strong. I'd like to say that you don't need to be scared because your viewership will follow you whatever you decide to stream, but I also understand your worry, man. Okay. I'm on fire! Don't get me wrong. I, I love my community. You guys know that. You guys are watching me play a lot of games and stuff like that. I'm on I appreciate fire. it. But I wouldn't say follow you anywhere. I mean, you guys have watched me upload videos on, on my YouTube that are like Apex or variety games, and they just tank. They just don't do well. I haven't built that variety audience yet, and that would honestly take me a few more years as a streamer to cultivate Overwatch, Overwatch 2, and then start working variety in over time, you know? So, you know, I do appreciate it, but... My... So not only is the live game being left... To rot, to rot with no content, zero intent to actually make game integrity come out for the product that people want to play every day, right? Not only is the game left to rot, but they can't put anything out. At what point do people say, does the customer say, hold on, these guys have no clue what they're doing? Look, crucify me and call me the asshole all you want. I'm willing to take that for the team. Because you know what? I would much rather say congratulations to my friends and I'm sorry. And yet here we are four years later, the only game saying that we're still... He ran out of time. <laughs> he, got, he, got rolled by the, he got rolled by the timer. He got rolled. Some wanted. Dude, he got rolled by the timer, dude. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Let's, let's just make this a fucking hour-long YouTube video, and, and you know what? We can't miss. <sighs> Wanted, how are you taking it, dude? I, I, I almost just fucking cried, dude. Like, this is... <sighs> I mean, he nails it. Whether you like Sam or not is not the point. He nailed it. We have gotten zero. None. Like... Like, okay, this is kind of a meme, but it's the truth. You want to know whether or not the game's in a good state? Is Seagull playing Overwatch? That, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Every time the game's been in a good state, if Seagull's playing Overwatch. If it's not in a good state, we don't see him! Tell me why we haven't seen this guy in months! Love you, dude. It's just true. Um, But regardless... We haven't got a literal speck. <laughs> we haven't gotten a speck of anything. Like, you know what we got? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what we got. You wanna see this? If are you have you been sitting not playing Overwatch or just waiting for Overwatch 2 news? You wanna know what we've gotten? I'll show you. I hope I got an avoid warning. The name change was a good thing. We got the Halloween event with skins. Mercy got new uh, Guardian Angel of ability, like, fixes, like, more stuff. We're still going, by the way. It's September 28th. We're still going. We're still going. It's so far back, there's not even- it's not even there anymore! We haven't gotten a balance patch! It's so far back, I can't scroll! It was August 9th! You know what we got? We got this this cool experiment. It's gone. Okay, there was an experimental that was here with some cool, like, idea changes. And people were like, these are crazy changes. But, like, th when, I, when I say to you the word stale, I'm talking two-year-old freezer bread. Oh, man. It's Halloween. I can't wait to play Junkenstein's Revenge for the fourth year in a row. I'm talking a loaf of bread that's so frozen and old, I could fucking knock your ass out with it. Just like, and it would just bung! It would probably make a noise. That's how stale we are right now. You know what hit hurt the most recently? Like, semi-recently? Now, you know, Blizzard has heard our cries on it, so I can't totally, like, be that angry because they or under, they hurt, or hurt us now. You know what we've been asking for? Like, tournament modes and, and tournaments in Overwatch for, for years. 
then Valorant came out and got leaked that they were working on a tournament mode for their game. And they're like, yeah, we're actually in the middle of developing this this cute, this cool tournament mode for you guys. So like, so you have monthly tor tournaments. Oh yeah, we've only been asking that since 2016. And then you say, well, COVID though, COVID delayed everything. How come Apex is still putting out crazy amounts of content? How come Apex actually invests in their streamers? I think we had one streamer event this whole year. We had one streamer drop event. Monetization. You nailed it. You're nailing it. You're nailing it. That's that's really what it is. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I. Jeff said that COVID actually made them more productive at the Overwatch team. So then, why why is it like why is it? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true. But if it is, then why is everybody saying that? You know, and I really just that's all I want to know is at what point are we gonna save? You know, because you know what my fear is more than anything. I think this this video is gonna be a catch twenty two, and the stream is a catch twenty two. Telling so many people what's happening, and they turn off to the game, and viewership even goes further down, which obviously hurts me. Thank that you. hurts other I'm creators. For Overwatch creators, if they decide to switch games within the next year, they're going to see such a plummet that they may quit content creation in total. Apex is there, but like, how are we getting beat by EA of all companies? <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's like low key kind of funny. <laughs> um, God, man, like What do we do? What do we do? Like my hope is we're not going to hear a bunch of we can't comment at this times and we can't talk about this or that's all we've got, sorry. You know what I mean? And it's like, because I, I'm not blaming the people that have to, the messengers. I'm not blaming the messengers. I'm blaming the people that are at the top. Because what has happened for the last three years? How long was Overwatch 2 in development before that it got announced? Was it, was Overwatch 2 in development, let's say a year or two before it got announced? So what, they've been working on you know what's actually even a scarier thought? It just crossed my mind. Is that engine like a 2019, 2020 built engine and it comes out in 2023 and it's behind everything else again? Like, games have had this happen before where they have an engine and it takes so long to get built that it falls behind. And I'm just saying from what I've seen, Overwatch 2 didn't look that much different from Overwatch 1 from a mechanics perspective, no? Or am I crazy? <laughs> That's because they couldn't show off Overwatch 2 content? <laughs> Why, because it didn't exist? <laughs> It was just the it was just the PVE. That's all I had, and it wasn't even all of it. I mean, a lot of the rumors that were floating around is they hadn't even recorded the story yet. Like they hadn't even done voice lines like for like the story Thanks. for PVE I yet. Think if Blizzard pushed for an ESL style tournament for the community, it could breathe some life into the game. Realistically, I don't think that's enough anymore. We're past that Fire. point now. What? Tournaments and stuff are things that keep a game healthy. That's like, in my opinion, that's like when you're an adult or you're a person, you go to the gym, you work out, you eat, eat your vegetables, vitamins, uh, you go to the doctor, uh, you make sure you're, you're healthy. If you're on your deathbed and someone comes in with a, a thing of a, a Flint, Flint, Fred Flintstone vitamin gummies, it's like, here you go. That ain't gonna do shit! Like, the gummies would have been good in the beginning to help keep you going. 
not bring you back from the dead? Is PvE part of the delays? I, it's the game period. We, we have no idea what part, but it, it, the, it's the game period. It doesn't matter. We're not getting anything. <sighs> Overwatch needs life support? Needs more than life support at this point. We bid on life support. Oh, man. You can't convince me that Activision is not too involved on the corporate slash board level and it's losing the vision for the game. Well, actually, let me make this point to you really quick. This is very frustrating to say the least. How can all other games keep updated with things but not Bingo, you're one? nailing it. Is it team for the problem? Too many disagreements? I would say it's up. Not enough people? I would say it's that one, big one, the last one. Not enough people, but here's the thing. For people that might look at this and they go... Oh, um, you know, you don't, you don't know that it's 2023. Like, you know, they, they push it back. They never said it. Like, shut up. One, wrong. Two, the importance of these actually carries way further than you think. You know how Overwatch free to play has already been something that's like talked about and came to that. And it's been like kind of confirmed because of things that got leaked. It was actually confirmed over a year beforehand. 2020's uh, 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 shareholders meetings because one of their uh, higher ups tweeted that the entire Activision Blizzard company was trying to quote unquote follow in the footsteps of Warzone's uh, uh, business model, aka free to play. This was confirmed, not confirmed, but I talked about. Way before anybody caught on to the idea that, you know, like, it being confirmed or, like, pretty much confirmed is a thing. And then there was, like, the, the leaks that happened that was, like, oh, like, looking at Overwatch 2 going free-to-play for the like game. Point, we need the and then the PvE is, is a paid Euro, release. A T3 League and a $20 gift card to Starbucks to make up for the... BS Dude, stop. The uh, that's already discuss. gone. We We're had that. We don't even have a battle pass. <laughs> so... I tell you that this is probably the worst news you could have. The optimism is gone. The optimism is gone. Anyone got any spare copium? No, dude, we ran out. We're gone. Dude, we have the whole community right now. And, and dude, we've, we've run out of copium. It's gone. I don't even know anymore. Like final mouse administration, I, I honestly, I think we're we're just we're just fucking screwed. We're actually just fucking screwed. I don't even know what to say at this point. I kind of hope Emon gets on Thanks. semi soon. Also, I was looking at the screen. Twenty twenty three or beyond. Do you think they're giving themselves room for possibly twenty twenty four? Bro. Thank you. I will wither away and die by the time it is 2024. I will wither away and fucking die. We're in 2021. Like, I know you're like, like, I don't think people are understanding what the words cut leaving people's mouths mean. Like, a mat, like 2024? Motherfucker, we're in November 2nd of 2021 and we're struggling. That's like, that's like we're running a marathon and we're dying on, on mile eight. Like, are you gonna make it the the whole way? If you're dying on level on mile eight, I don't think so. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for more tweets. I'm gonna look for more reactions from the community. Um. Thank you. Someone got the number for Make a Wish, asking for my friend Aaron's team. Everyone's just sad, angry. Literally, just sad and angry. <laughs> 